Sotheby's, one of the largest auction houses in the world, dealing in art, antiques, jewellery and high-end property, which is known to serve the most discerning of clients, is exhibiting for the first time in India artworks by Andy Warhol, Gerard Richter and David Hockney, giving Indian collectors an opportunity to view selected highlights from Sotheby's forthcoming London sale of contemporary art, alongside highlights from its New York sale of modern and contemporary South Asian art. The contemporary highlights include rare and only recently discovered portraits and artworks. So I'm sure for all you art collectors out there, this is the best news you've received all week. With the Indian art market at an all-time high, Sotheby's has been keenly watching the recent developments when it comes to auctions in India with interest. In fact, the top management of Sotheby's is visiting India and we have right here with us Lord Mark Baltimore, Deputy Chairman Sotheby's International, to walk us through the top five exquisite artworks as part of their travelling exhibition to India. The first picture I want to talk about is David Hockney's self-portrait. It's a new discovery to the market. Uh, it hasn't been seen before, and it was painted when Hockney was only 17 years old. And uh, what I like about this picture is that you can see he's keeping close to his roots in his hometown of Bradford, uh, which is depicted in the background of the picture. Um, it's estimated at 100 to 150,000 pounds, and I think that because it's a discovery and has never been seen on the market, it should make considerably more. My second picture is by the German artist Gerhard Richter. And we're all used to seeing these beautiful big oil paintings by this artist. But this work is a small watercolour, just as vibrant and so beautiful with strong colouring. And being a work of watercolour is certainly not as valuable as his works in oil. And I would say that um, it could make between 60 and 80,000 pounds at auction. But again, bearing in mind that the world record for this artist is 37 million pounds, it looks inexpensive. My third picture is the Andy Warhol. And this is a picture of his dollar sign. And the interesting thing about this picture is that it was given to Mick and Bianca Jagger's daughter Jade. So in a way, it's a wonderful tribute of the greatest of the pop artists to the greatest pop star's daughter. And that is, again, relatively inexpensive at 120,000 to 180,000 pounds. And of even greater interest to us are the two pictures we have by Indian artists, the Bupenkaka of buffaloes in a waterbed. Um, it is a really lush work, and this is by one of India's greatest international artists. Uh, this picture will be sold in New York, and we're hoping it will make between $150,000 and $200,000. The final picture, I think, is a masterpiece. It's by Gaitonde, and it is entitled Picture Number Three. He basically changed his style to a more um, abstract, in a way, work, more surreal work. This is the beautiful, calm picture by Gartonde. We have estimated that two to three million dollars. Now, wasn't that something? With all eyes to the global art market on India, Sadbi aims to develop the market for modern and contemporary Indian art and extend its services to buyers and collectors based in India and Indian clients around the world. I'm sure for all you art lovers out there, you are simply elated with this piece of news. That's all we have for you. See you next week on Live Tonight.